When looking at figures or shapes in geometry, it's very important to know how to find the perimeter of that shape as well as the area. Um, but they're also very different, so let's take a look at them. First we'll look at this rectangle here. It's a 4 by 3. Its length is 4, its width is 3. And just looking at that, I can tell you what the perimeter is. I know that the rule of a rectangle states that if one side is 4, the opposite side is 4. And I know that if one uh, this width here is 3, then its opposite width is also going to be 3. Now the perimeter is the distance or length all the way around an object or figure. So starting from here, 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. I'm just going to write that down here, but I think I'll add my 4's first. 4 plus 4 equals 8. And then I'll add my 3 plus 3. And 3 plus 3 equals 6. And guess what? My perimeter is 6 plus 8, or 8 plus 6, which is 14. I don't know what I'm counting here. I don't know if it's centimeters or millimeters or what, so I'm just going to call them units. 14 units all the way around. Perimeter is the length all the way around a figure. Now let's look at the area. The area is the inside space of a shape or figure. In order to figure that out, I'm going to multiply my length times my width. That's the formula, and the length is 4, and the width is 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12. But instead of units this time, I'm going to say square units. I use square units because area is actually the, the, the inside portion, and that's measured in squares. As you can see right now, I'm dividing up my rectangle into 4 for the length and 3 for the width, and that gives me 12. 3 plus 3, excuse me, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 or 4 plus 4 plus 4. They both make 12 square units. So that's how to find the area. Let's look at this rectilinear figure here. Try to find the perimeter first and then the area. Perimeter is the length outside of the entire shape. So I've got 4 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I've got 3 here. Again, I'll just call them units because I'm not really sure what they are. I've got 1. Then I've got another 1. And I've got another one, and another one, so that's, I'll have to add them all up later. Then I have one, two there, and one there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen units. The perimeter of this shape, or figure, is thirteen units. Now I'll get the area. Again, the area is the sh space inside of a shape, so I'm going to draw my unit squares, and I'll just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 square units. I'm going to write it that way because I'm not really sure um, multiplying the way that I did over here, 4 times 3, is going to be as effective with this one. I think it's going to be much easier just to count the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 square units. Okay? So again, perimeter, distance or length around a shape, area, space within the shape. 